What's up, friends? This is Bunny, and the nightmare has begun. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Eiffel Titan just released here on the live server in Warobots. And of course, as usual, I'm presenting you the fully maxed version here, level 150 with the brand new weapon to Multus and uh, the Lightburn. Um, yeah, so are you ready for it? Jimmy Hermes is also here, the legendary pilot that gives uh, a lot of good attributes. You'll have a look at this here. Uh, the um, ability, uh, additional defense, uh, then things last longer, the duration of the speed and so on. And we also have Death Survivor twice for both abilities at 50%. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing starts with around 1 million HP when you get into the battle. As soon as you press the ability button, you get the 450,000 HP boost on top. Uh, and that every single time. And from what I gather, this actually even works against rust effect. When you have rust on you, you don't technically heal. You teleport the HP onto your robot, so to speak. And therefore you bypass the rust effect completely and you can heal yourself um, against it. Uh, and with the new machine guns, of course, as you know, those are homing machine guns on Titans now with 600 meters range though. So you have uh, the ability to, to reach almost anywhere on the map without even showing yourself high damage output and this on the Eiffel Titan where you know most of the time while you're on the ground you don't even have so much firepower right in the air that's when you have so much firepower when you're flying and you have five active weapons on the Titan three alpha two beta weapons unleashing an amount of damage output that have we, that we haven't really seen in the game so far and the trick to running this setup, I can already tell you, ladies and gentlemen, after figuring it out for a few minutes, uh, is to run double repair amplifier. Because this thing, although it teleports health back, it is rather fragile. It gets shot down really quickly because you don't have highest resistance in the air. You have pilot skills presenting you a few resistance points while you're in the air, but it's not so much like uh, uh, many Titans do. Uh, when they really have an ability that protects them, you know? And what you need is you need to take a certain amount of damage and then your repair amplifier resistance kicks in. Basically, your Titan resistance becomes unmitigatable. Then you have under 30%, another 100 resistance points and so on. And all this stacks with the repair amplifier modules where you no longer have any, nobody can bypass your resistance anymore. And this is when this Titan becomes a killing machine. Because remember, you teleport back to 450,000 HP every couple of seconds. So that is what you're allowed to lose every couple of seconds, right? So you're literally allowed to lose a lot of health continuously therefore getting to the max stacks on the repair amps pretty easily and then becoming near impossible to be killed and also with the you know battleship of the paladin which i'm having additional shield in between additional gray hp restore and so on this all adds up to an absolute beast of a setup so what you can see me here is basically obliterating single-handedly in the entire enemy team who are seeing this new titan who want to be the one to shoot down the new titan but they end up not being able to do that even that even those many newtons that we'll see in the course of this video it is a 14 15 16 minute long video here so you'll see a lot of newtons that we're taking down as well and it is due to that res repair amp resistance that we are not getting shot down so easily and that we can always corner shoot around the co uh, around uh, walls. And uh, the Newton Titan, although very annoying with the choke ability, once we're landing on the ground, we can still hit him around corners, just not with the full amount of damage output from all three alpha weapons, right? Unfortunately, I lost one weapon, but the good side effect of this Titan is also that you can never lose the weapons that you teleport in. So your, your highest amount of firepower, so to speak, from the two alpha weapons coming in, or at least, you know, a high amount of firepower, you'll never, you can never lose that. You can only lose uh, an alpha or medium while you're on the ground, but not really much more than that. So that is also an interesting aspect about this Titan that is basically immune to losing too much firepower from taking too much damage, you know, losing weapons. And that is something, you know me, I hate that. <laughs> By the way, um, <coughs> excuse me. If you like this video content here, the fact that I already cut this all nicely together for you in an action montage, subscribe to the channel, consider doing that if you haven't done it yet, um, because the next days we'll have crazy video content, okay? We'll have an exploration into um, into the new uh, Curie robot. We have a giveaway coming up. 200 Curie robots are going to be given away here any day now. So stay tuned on that, right? Perhaps even tomorrow, who knows? 
And, and then we have a lot of different setups that we need to figure out and see how they run on the new Eiffel Titan. Um, and maybe even a Sharenga with three times the heavy alpha uh, homing bullets, right? Anyways, let's hop into match number two. By the way, we have a one-on-one -on -one coming up. The new Eiffel Titan maxed with Fulgur and Tonans versus my Alpha Titan, my uh, Eiffel Titan maxed with the new homing machine guns. I used the Orokochi here just to really, really quickly get the Titan out. You see in one minute and 30 seconds or so I had the Titan due to that Orokochi. Um, and now we can, uh, yeah, do this on the battlefield. With these massive homing machine guns, dude, nobody stands a chance. Every time we fly up, we have, <coughs> excuse me, my, my voice is still not perfect. We have 1.4 million HP every time we begin to fly, even just right after starting. <laughs> so that is that is really crazy, man. And you see down there is an Orokochi. Um, and with the resistance breaking abilities of Titan weapons, especially Alpha weapons that resist uh, break 100% of the resistance, you can kill everything very quickly. The only thing you're not going to be able to kill quickly is other Titans when their repair amplifier is fully stacked as well. Again, we're going to see that in just a moment after this match when we jump into this one-on-one -on -one against the other completely maxed uh, Eiffel Titan with his full Guatonan setup. A uh, very powerful setup that I was that I was running on it, obviously. Um, and I expected to have no chance against him. Uh, but to my surprise, with the repair amps, even he would not really be able to deal a lot of damage to me anymore. And <clears throat> I was actually able to outbrawl him on the long run, despite being focused by another player the entire one-on-one -on, -one on. So it was a two-on-one, -on -one basically. Uh, I'll show you in just a moment. So there's uh, a Sharenga with three times uh, the nice Bolava, very interesting setup also, uh, and he's doing a lot of damage to me too. Um, but when you walk sideways, you can always negate a little bit of the damage from Bolava and Kisten, even though he shouldn't really be able to do that because they're supposed to have splash damage. But see, while I'm starting up, he's not able to hit me at all. However, the timeout of the Sharenga really hurts, man, because it times you out for the entire duration of your ability in which you would do an extreme amount of damage due to you, all your weapons, but timeout means, well, you're gonna live through that ability without getting something in return. So here's another Sharenga, uh, sorry, Newton, uh, with a ridiculous amount of um, damage output, but my repair amps are now stacked. You saw the heal back uh, when I just got hit. I believe that was the moment the repair amps reached their full maximum stack amount. Uh, and uh, yeah, so from this point on, even if enemies hit me, um, they will not really not do a lot of damage anymore. And the dash that you have, you can do it on the ground and you can do it in the air with uh, this Titan. And therefore you can uh, also dodge a lot of shots. Like for example, this I was dodging in midair and you saw the enemy Newton Titan missed a little bit of his ammo sh uh, shot. Let's say maybe 30 for 50% of its shot went uh, past me. So uh, that is a surprising element that allows you to also uh, not get hit by a lot of things. Um, overall, if you were to ask me how I think, how balanced I think this Titan is, I would, yeah, I would say it's a more balanced Titan or more, yeah, more balanced uh, for the health of the game than the Newton. The Newton choke is really the thing that sometimes it makes me want to freaking leave the game, seriously. It's just this bad. But um, the, this Titan here is going to be powerful, especially since you can also heal against uh, corrosion, no, uh, rust damage, which is, which is more and more prominent in the game. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't really have so much firepower on the ground. The firepower is only there in the air, and if you bring enough damage output, you can shoot him down in the air. Well, at least as long as the repair amps aren't fully stacked. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is going to be a really powerful setup. We did 13 million, I think, in the first match or so, 12.5 million here in the second, and now we're jumping into the next match. This is the one where I have the one-on-one -on -one versus the other Eiffel. Uh, and I believe it's uh, Rambo over there, the player Rambo. I'm focusing him right now. He's got an Ohokochi. I believe it's his second Ohokochi already. Uh, as soon as I see Ohokochis, I just drop them. I just uh, focus them out. And so I did that with him as well. And now I'm getting attacked from behind. And uh, I didn't even notice it at first. I shot, noticed the shot, but I didn't know what it was. And then I took an incredible amount of damage. So this is when the one-on-one -on -one begins. I'm already down to 380,000 health. And this is when the one-on-one -on -one starts. And the problem is it's not even a one-on-one -on -one because as you can notice here in a moment, I will be getting shot by this 
cudgel guy the whole freaking two minutes now. I don't know how and why. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any other target. It's the whole time. But I'm dashing underneath my enemy here so that he loses his lock and he can't really shoot me when I'm perfectly underneath him. And then I'm bringing up a Paladin Battleship Shield to block another salvo. And you see, we started out extremely badly. We're like, we got hit and we basically lost. The battle was already lost as it began. But now we've made it like a bit of a tie. We're, no one is winning just yet. Um, and because every time I want to kill him, he also gets his health back. So this guy here with his cudgel, I'm even like looking at him saying, no, 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 man, let me do this one-on-one, -on -one. but he's not having it. He's not having it. 100% focus on me here. But thankfully, you see, it is, seems like I'm able to out-brawl uh, the um, uh, the Fulgur-Tonan setup here. Uh, I'm almost dead now. I even lost an alpha weapon at the end of my ability. I lose my health that I gained. But thankfully, I was able to use that bridge to my advantage. And now I got him. This is the it. He lost his ability. Now he would be dead. And of course, he left his Titan. He did not give me the pleasure of finishing that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he jumped into another Ohokochi down there. Um, and uh, yeah, so interesting to see. <laughs> we have 14,000 health, by the way, after our ability. Um, interesting to see this new, uh, these new homing machine guns can even outbrawl Fulguatonans. Now, of course, I don't exactly know the setup that the other player was using. I'm not sure if he had uh, two times repair amps. Maybe he only had one of them. I, I didn't check. But um, it's, it's really interesting to see this setup is powerful. And it's nothing you can quickly overrun. Not even when you bring the firepower of three times Fulguatonans uh, uh, with Fulgur, you know, uh, on another Eifer. So, last situation here, we're on row, and from up here we're gonna have a bit of fun with the enemy team. This enemy team was really not ready for it, man. We just, I don't know, the moment I spawned the Titan, the game was over for them. And they already began dropping out somehow. It's like one and a half minutes in and the enemy team is already down to three out of six players or so, four. Um, that's an, I think that was an Ohokochi that I just dropped, not sure. Uh, but, yeah, I... Uh, can't seem to kill them all. They all have face shift, stealth and whatever. Then I make a nice dash in the air, but the Typhon robot still managed to connect his uh, suppression charge. Very nice shot there, sir. Seriously, man, I did not expect him to be this accurate with that, um, type, with that uh, suppression charge while I'm in the air dashing sideways. That was an insanely good shot. Um, but you see enemy down to two players now. You're not, never safe anywhere, of course, against these weapons. I think he has the Reviver drone or something, because he was down to no health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has it. He was down to zero health and then suddenly was back. Now he's at stealth too. Then he's got a battleship shield from the Paladin with 330,000 HP. I don't, I don't want to shoot that down. Takes too long. I, I just wait it out. I just wait until the shield drops by itself and then I finish him off. That's it. That's how we do it. Nice. Now they are spawning in their Titans though. You see I'm almost destroyed after taking a hit by the full Gwotonans. Uh, then dropping my battleship shield to survive one volley. And thankfully, I don't know, this Titan was shooting something else for a second. And I'm back to a million HP due to the ability charge coming up. From up here I can bypass the Rook shields. And at the last second before my ability ends, I'm just turning around or jumping over him, past him, so he has to look back all the way. Um, and although I'm suppressed now, it seems like he's also reloading. So we can activate our ability one more time, and now we can drop him. These are projectile-based weapons, so they will deal double damage against physical shields. So also something important to note. <coughs> Still having a bit of coughing, man. Uh, but yeah, so what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What is the broken thing here? Is it the Eiffel Titan? Or is it the homing machine guns? I tend towards the homing machine guns that they are the more broken aspect here in this video. Um, the Eiffel Titan, uh, it's very powerful, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to completely break the game on, on some gameplay level where like the, the choke from the Rook or uh, the choke from the Newton or, or, or also the Rook when it came in where it's like literally unkillable. Uh, the, the, Newton is in, uh, not Newton. The Eiffel is not unkillable, but it is hard to take them. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming giveaway here. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Manny signing. Bye bye.